Hi, I'm Daily Skip Sports Editor Travis L. Brown. And I'm Jedi Master Mace Windu. Welcome to this week's NCAA 10 simulation, TCU versus UNLV. David, what do you think this week's keys of the game are? Actually, Travis, it's pronounced Mace Windu, but if I have one thought on this week's game, it's that it's a trap! Anything else? It's, it's a trap, dude. Watch out. Okay. You and I will get you. Yeah? Well, uh, here's the highlights. Welcome to this week's Mountain West Conference matchup, TCU versus UNLV. That's right, Travis. Put all your life savings on a seven-line parlay bet and give a $200 tip to a cocktail waitress. UNLV's in town. What happens in Cowtown doesn't always stay in Cowtown. That's right, Travis. Just ask my three illegitimate children. UNLV began the scoring with this 20-yard touchdown pass. And he has all the time in the world. Uh, invents fire and the wheel and throws for the touchdown. On the Frogs' first drive, quarterback Andy Dalton throws a pick to the defensive back who jumps the route very well. Well, the luck of the Irish wasn't with our quarterback on that one, Travis. Sure was not. After the pick, he would get a several yards and set up UNLV for good field position. Oh, ta -ta 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 -ta. The Frog defense, however, would hold the Rebels to this 25-yard field goal. Uh, still down by 10 points, Travis. Not what we envisioned. Later, off the option, Joseph Turner breaks two tackles and takes the ball <laughs> for six. <laughs> Touchdown. The Rebels would counter that score on a three-yard run up the middle for the touchdown. Poor show of tackling right there. Yeah, that's right. You got to get that guy. That's terrible. Turner would take the ball in for his second run to the house on this one-yard pitch play. And then there we go. And he runs in circles in like a million yards just to gain one. But great, it's a touchdown. Great cutback to find the hole. Mm -hmm, great. The Frogs would hold the Rebels to another three points after this 20-yard field goal. Uh, Travis, uh, the way the Frogs are playing, you would guess that they bet against their own team and are trying to gain a million-dollar fortune. That only happens in Las Vegas, David. Well, you can bet from other states. That is true. Andy Dalton would turn the ball over again after being massacred in the backfield. Uh, he definitely bet on himself to lose on the Internet. I am uncovering a scandal right here. Since sports, Dave? Since sports, yes, yeah, since sports. <laughs> Watson would tack on his third field goal of the game at the end of this drive. Wow, look at those bleachers not collapse in the background. Good job. TCU would bring it within three on this 19-yard touchdown pass to Antoine Hicks. Zip! Ah, oh, boom! What a score right up the middle. After TCU recovered the onside kick, Dalton would turn the ball over for the third time, sealing the UNLV win. Well, that sucked. I'm going to go to the concession stand and get myself a nice Drano smoothie to drown my sorrows. Well, that'll be the final score. UNLV wins 23-21. to 21. If this actually happens, I will jump off of the press box. Not even kidding, Travis. That would be quite detrimental to you and the TCU community. You know what? It would be one hell of a ride down. That would be true. Well, it really was a disappointing loss for the Horned Frogs, but I don't think it'll go down like that. This being homecoming weekend and with all the BCS implications, I don't think the Horned Frogs will let like this one get out of their reach. What do you think, David or Mace? Anything else? All right, well, join us next week for our next simulation, TCU versus San Diego State, here on DailySkiff.com.